Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Fudz. Welcome to another Loot Anime and Crunchyroll unboxing video. This is August's Crate. It is a theme. Back to school. Because people go back to school in August. Wait. Anyway, it's a crate which arrives at the very end of August, start of uh, September. It's now actually the 6th of September, so it's a little bit later than normal, which I don't really mind about really. As ever, I've got my Ayumi for scale. I also technically have another Ayumi for scale up here, but she's a different scale, so I don't use her. There we are, there's another Ayumi for scale. It's a phone charm. As discussed earlier, my phone doesn't accept phone charm, so I can't use it, sadly. But I use this whenever I'm doing a figure, so you know exactly how big it is compared to Ayumu. Which, let's be honest, is the only thing, real thing which matters. As I mentioned, the theme this month is back to school. If you want to be back to your own crate, be sure to check out the link below. You can go to Crunchyroll and get yourself a subscription using my link. I get a little bit from that as well. I think there's a code SAV3 for that one as well. And if you actually have subscribed to Crunchyroll, you can actually save yourself $5 by linking your accounts. And that's separate from any other promotions, so that's great news if you're with Crunchyroll. So let's get into a box, shall we? And I've got my pen knife. To prove this is not one of my terrible, terrible parody unboxings. It's not. And let's get into it. And straight away, we can see some stuff. I think the first things first is I can see it's looking like a dang and romper tie. Sponsored by Funimation. Funimation.com, Danganronpa Reanimation, Spike Chunsoft, which is the maker of the games, I believe. I've not really got into Danganronpa, but it seems okay. Is it? Um, get into it. How'd you get into this? Um, let me in. I want to see this tie thing. So, yeah, it is literally a Danganronpa tie. Which. Is a tie. There's not really much we can say about ties. Actually, relatively understated. I can actually see myself when I go into the office later on this month wearing this to work because it's something which people who know about it would recognise, but people who don't would just see it as a nice black and white tie. So yeah, I quite like that. Um, it's not one I'd go out and buy myself. And um, it's packaged interestingly. To be honest, I've never really gone out and bought, bought myself a tie in absolute years, so... Yeah, a Dangan Wampa reanimation tie. Good job. Next up, we can't resist the... Um, um, why can't I remember Revolutionary Girl Antenna? But looks like a loot box uh, exclusive uh, lunch box, possibly. Um... Don't yep. Yeah. Top back dishwasher safe, microwave safe. Some food may stay in plastic while heated. Yep. Yeah. It, it may not seem like a lunchbox to a lot of people, but it's a very much a traditional a Japanese style lunchbox, a bento box. Don't get into a damn thing. And I'm not a huge fan of Utena. But I suppose it's decent enough and how do you get into it? Is it clip there? Oh, it's just an elastic band, effectively, which goes around it. It's a pretty cool thing. You get into it, you've got the... It was a proper bento box. You've got a place of ice. And up a up lot for um, vegetables and something else. At the very top, you got... Oh, even, even comes with chopsticks, which is decent news, actually. So, yeah, I actually quite like that. I mean, working from home, I don't really get the chance to eat out often bento or lunchboxes, but, yeah, if you look at it, it's pretty standard plastic. It's got a sticker on the bottom. comes with a one-piece lid, two-piece layers, two-piece container, one piece elastic band, one piece movable white divider, one pair of chopsticks. So that divider movable, how not they? It is, you know. It's also removable, so if you don't just want um, like that, that's good. 
yeah, I quite like that. I mean, I'm not, I haven't actually got a Japanese bento box yet, so... I might go with that so at some point. Maybe cut, cut myself some white sauce, um, some hot dog sausages, cut like um, octopuses and some rolled up omelette in the top one. And might have a go with it. Next up we've got the Assassination Classroom. Interesting, you just notice what's missing in this one. Assassination Classroom, magnetic dry erase board and um, magnet set. What we got there? It's magnetic dry erase board with kickstand, magnetic foam and adhesive mounting options, white ink dry erase marker and clip, and three core sensei mood type magnets. That's quite an interesting thing, really. Is it a black board or a white board? It looks like a black board, but how is it dry erase if it's? You know what? I'm actually going to open this one. I'm not going to sell the bright board because I could actually potentially use it in work. I actually use a whiteboard for work. Um, I take calls and uh, yeah, of course, I send a person. And um, yeah, it has its own stand back there. And got that. And how do you write on it? It's bloody, it's a white pen. Well, that's fancy. It is dry away, so you can just wipe it out. Normally, you'd use a cloth for that, but it's got magnets, so you can change core sensors look. Now, I've not seen this, but it's a pretty cool thing, actually. I might use that for something. So, I'm going to mark this one. I get my um, stuff there. Let's move it close to the camera so you can see. And mark this one. Very useful. And because it's a whiteboard marker, literally a white marker pen, it is actually quite a um, an interesting effect. But the other interesting thing about it is. I'm actually going to be a pain in the backside to actually get pens for. It's also quite a small one because if you look at our humans next to it, she is about half the size of it. Next up, we have some A up. I recognise these characters. Do you recognise these characters? Can read Japanese, you know exactly what it is. If you can see the characters, you might know what it is. I immediately know what it is. It definitely looks to be import. Because everything's written in Japanese. But it's an import of a very popular series, and it's um, a series of four little chains. I'm not going to call them phone charms because they aren't. They, they've got the uh, weird little beaded stuff there, but you can turn them into phone charms. But you got a rice ball, a a cow, a rat, and a cat. And One of those things you get in Kinder Eggs. But why on earth do we have all those things together? I want to give you a sense of scale. I'll get this one out. I'll get Q out. My god, that's freaking adorable. <laughs> uh, this is actually why I've got the Ayuma ready. I'm even for scale. It's only about half her size. And these are from Fruits Basket. Uh, you've got Kyosoma, the cat and the zodiac. Yep, that does actually make sense. Here's the cursed one. Spoilers, sorry. And you've got... Uh, what the hell was his name? I forget, actually. Um, he's not one of the main characters. He's a recurring character. I want to say Hatsu. It's Hatsu the cow. And 
And you've got, of course, Yuki Rat. And not part of the Zodiac. The main character herself. And uh, she's got the nickname Rice Ball. And these are characters from Fruit Basket. I absolutely love the Fruit Basket anime. And if I. One moment. To show you a likeness. We got an old uh, Fruits Basket figurine I got. It's official one, but even though look at that face, that, that face will give you nightmares. And that's a new one. I think I'll get rid of that one. It's um move it to one side because it's causing a bit of problem. I think the camera's gonna crack if I don't get rid of it. So I'll just pop her back on her stand. I'll try and get back on the sand, where we are. And we've also got, from Udon, the Persona 3, um, Chapter Un. Persona 3 manga. I'm intrigued by the fact it says Chapitre 1, Prologue, Le Commencement de la Fin. It looks like it's French, but it's not for some reason. Oh, this is very appropriate given the fact that um, the Persona 5 is coming out in February, and the first prelogue episode went up on Crunchyroll last week. If you haven't watched it and you like Persona, go watch it. It's bloody awesome and and it's bloody hot. We got some kind of Digimon thing from Toei Animation and Crunchyroll. It looks to be some kind of postcard thing. It's in a very crinkly wrapped thing. Interesting choice of crinkles. Into it, sorry. There's nothing in this box which I wouldn't keep actually so far. There's something missing, which is kind of disappointing, but um, understandable given what else we've got. We've got Digimon Adventure stuff. We've got. Sorry, I'm so bad, I can't actually remember names of them. We've got three little postcard things, but we're not. Well, postcard, if you look at them, I don't know if you can see them on camera, or you can. It's a decent quality card. It's Protective stuff, you know what stuff. Proper artsy stuff. Oh, it's been years since I've seen Digimon. I can't even remember the character's name, but I remember I loved it. I remember all of this, but yeah. Apparently the um, English dubbed movie release uh, releases on Thursday, September 15th, 2016. For more information, go to toei-animation-usa.com. Great, so do that. It's clearly an advert item, but it's a digital item, so people are going to love it. And the very bottom of the box. Oh, there's something else missing in this, actually. Thinking about it. There's no charm. There's no t-shirt and there's no charm. So let's look at the poster, shall we? Clock. There's Yume, she's called now. Uh, just chatting to people. Eating lunch. Definitely back to school time. And what we got there? Uh, the Assassination's Classroom whiteboard. Um, technically it's a blackboard. Uh, the exclusive Fruits Basket figure cheap keychain set. Exclusive Persona 3 Manga, Volume 1. Exclusive soft cover. So it's only available in hardback, that's bad news. Uh, so you basically give us a cheaper item. Uh, the uh, exclusive Utena Bento box. 
It's pretty cool. I imagine some people would really love that, actually. Uh, exclusive uh, Digimon Venture Tri Prince set. Back to school phone charm. I'm going to have to look for that because I didn't get one. I don't think I've got one of those yet. And the um, Danganronpa cosplay tie. So I put that to one side. I'm going to go digging around for my phone charm because I'm. I want my phone charm. No, I didn't get one. I don't know what I think it is. I think it fell out one of the bottom bits here. Kind of annoying. If you look at my box, the box is actually slightly damaged, so I think it may have got lost in transit. That's what I'm going to be emailing about. I want my phone charm. I've paid for it. It's a crappy thing I don't actually like, but I want it, damn it. And we can even turn it into a desk. And sh desk and shelf. Um. Interesting. So you cut part of it off to make a shelf and desk and pretty cool idea. <laughs> I think that's why the box has come apart because it's um, not exactly a single part anyway. So I'm actually going to do that another time. I'll, you probably won't see that box there turned up inside out but you want to know what an anime desk looks like. And that has been the, um, well, most of the August Loot Anime. I've not dropped it anywhere. I mean, I'm looking around, I'm not seeing a phone charm anywhere on the floor. I would have heard it for you, because I've got a wooden floor down there. No, I just don't have a phone charm. Well, that sucks. Get it together, Loot Crate. I want my Loot Anime for complete next time. I've no idea what the theme is for next month, but if, as I said earlier, if you want your own, uh, be sure to visit the link below. Also, if you want to see more of my unboxing videos, be sure to like and subscribe to this. Um, I also do loot crates every month as well. Um, last month was pretty bad. Uh, technically wearing a t-shirt because it's a decent one to wear around the house where nobody's going to see you. But, yeah, that's been Loot Anime. Very useful. Bye-bye.